Hello everyone, my name is Saad Fazil. Welcome to another video. Uh, today I was actually testing a few things and I ran into an issue where my Apple MDM push certificate got expired. So um, before I start the video process, I thought let's just make a video to share some knowledge with the folks who doesn't know the process. So today I'm gonna go over how to, uh, um, um, how to renew your existing MDM push certificate data. Super important, I highly recommend to keep it in your uh, calendar or somewhere you you actually know the renewal date. Otherwise, you, you will run into a downtime for your uh, iOS platform. So let me go over what I have currently. Uh, let me bring up my server. Um, so that's my Intune portal. Let me start from the scratch here. When you go to the devices section, um, I'm going to go by the platform. So let's choose the iOS and I, iOS and iPad OS platform here. And um, under Apple MDM push certificate. So I have the certificate which was already expired 18 days ago. Um, I signed up for it. I, I generated this certificate by using my uh, lab ID, lab test ID, prompted by using this account. and. Um, and that's that's it. And let's go over to um, to the article. Take that article. What article says. So we have some information here. So um, an Apple and Apple certificate is required for Intune to manage iOS, iPad, Mac OS. Well, uh, after you add the certificate into your users can control the devices. In other words, if you have certificate expired, your iOS uh, and the uh, Apple platform will stop working. Um, this is required when you enroll the device by using company portal application or Apple bulk enrollment methods like uh, device enrollment program, Apple Business Manager. I do have an Apple Business Manager as well. Uh, if I get a chance, I'll go over it quickly, but I'm planning to make a separate video on ABM, like how to set up ABM from the scratch. Okay, so this is important. When a push certificate expires, you must renew it. When renewing, make sure to use the same Apple ID that you used when you first created the push certificate. Today, what I thought that I have another Apple ID, which I am using for my Apple Business Manager, and that's called uh, this one, my work account uh, for this lab, AzureLabAcademy.com. But um, as, uh, when I read this article, so I. And now I need to actually use the same lab account, which is the Hotmail account, to renew this as per the article. Uh, the uh, process itself is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you have to have uh, minimum Intune admin rights to perform this activity from the Intune uh, portal. But if you have a global admin, you are golden, uh, but very, which is very unlikely devices team will have a global admin to manage devices. Um, um, another, um, and you have to have an account, the Apple ID, to generate this uh, certificate. Like I said, I'm using my lab Apple ID, which is the Hotmail one. So either I can go ahead and delete this and start from the scratch, or I can just go over the renewal process. So what I would do, I will just go over the renewal process pretty much the same. Uh, I already accepted this licensing agreement. I'm going to download this CSR here. Step number two. I have the CSR downloaded. I'm going to go over. Uh, all right. So I just moved that CSR from my lab server to my local computer. And I have my Apple um, account login. If you don't know how to go to this link, it is mentioned in the Intune portal. So second step was downloaded the CSR, so I downloaded the CSR, which is here, and I moved to my local desktop, and the third is create your MDM push. So when you just click on this link, it's gonna let you open the link, or automatically, um, if you are signed in, it will let you sign in, uh, automatically sign you in. If not, then you probably have to sign out. And it's, essentially, it's gonna take you to this portal. I'm not gonna use this account, I'm gonna stick to my previous account, so I'll just copy this link, and open in my desktop here. So I open up the link and would log in with my lab account here, Hotmail One. I'm gonna create a new one here uh, today. 
So this one is actually revoked 2018. Oh, that's an old one, never mind. So let's just create a fresh one. So when I click on uh, create a certificate, um, accept this, accept, and I'm gonna choose the file. Um, I'm gonna choose the file which is in my desktop. And the desktop is Apple CSR here. And hit open, it's uploading and upload yes so I uploaded that uh, when I chose the CSR and uploaded and now my certificate is ready so what I can do I'll go ahead and download the certificate and this is and you it is not under your control to set the expiration date It's going to automatically give you the expiration date for one year so it's here I'm gonna open the file Okay, here's my file, the one I just downloaded. I'll just copy this file and take it to the server. Just create a new folder temporary and then push serve. Paste it and my Apple ID here. And give it a path. And upload. Okay, so this does not match the survey existing request. Blah, blah. So what says maybe I brought the wrong file? Let me double check. Okay, so very interesting. So while my video was paused, I was digging into the issue and I ran it, I came across this article. Super helpful, helpful and uh, very important. So what happened here is so let's go over a few bullet points here. Uh, so what happens if I don't renew my APN certificate before it expires? So if your APN certificate expires, enrollment of new iOS will fail and you will experience problem managing existing iOS until a new APN certificate is obtained. That's obvious and we already discussed in the beginning of the window. But the important little piece here that I slightly miss that step and just directly hopped on to create a brand new one. So if you renew an expired APN certificate outside of the grace period 30 days as of this writing so we will find out what's the grace period I'm pretty sure it's still it's like 30 days um, Apple will issue you a brand new certificate when this happens because the certificate is not different you will be forced to unenroll and re-enroll the existing devices that's a lot of work so in my lab case I am lucky enough to found out that my grace period is not past 30 days it's expired 18 days ago so i don't have to create a brand new one so what i would do i would go back to my apple business manager i have the csr downloaded uh, i'll just renew it instead of creating a new one okay because that's why it's just complaining so if you look at the logs it says topic id does not match the existing circuit obviously because i am creating a brand new one but luckily i'm still under the grace periods so let's renew instead of creating a brand new one from this sketch let's create a let's renew it so i never did it let's do it together to see how this would work if we run into an issue we'll troubleshoot and we'll learn more okay let me bring up my portal here so let's match the expiration date here so if i go in here it says uh the expiration was 2 3 2022 okay and the last uh updated that's okay and uh, what other information can be helpful here so expression is helpful definitely and uh let's see if we can match the serial number so i 2 3 2022 which is um uh, this one in an apple's case is february 4 2022 um and let me see 
what I could do here. So let me check if I can get more details. Let me see. Nice. So what I just did, I click on this exclamation mark to make sure I am working on the on the right certificate. If you can see both of my screens here, the one is coming from the server. And it, let me see if I can put it together. Here. So if you look at the serial number 0084D61, 0084D61, C0, and ending with 40D8, ending with 40D8, and blah, blah, blah. If you, so if you want to double check, I think this ID, let's see this ID, it's ID ending with 1239, right? And let me see what's this ID. If I can copy this thing somewhere. One, two, three, nine, there you go. So ID and the serial number match. So we found the right certificate on the portal because you can have more than one. So in fact, you can put the notes for your convenience next time, but I'm not gonna update. Oh, let's update the renew, renewed uh, by sub data. Year two twenty one twenty twenty two. Update the notes here. Okay, so let's get back to that. Uh, renew and I will give it a file which I downloaded in Dune CSR from my Intune. Hit upload. Boom. And then it renewed until February 2123. Hit download. Downloaded the file, copy this to the server. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, we'll go ahead and troubleshoot. I'll remove all these. Okay. Alrighty. Ta-da, works. So lesson learned, same Apple ID must be used for the renewal process. If you pass by a grace period, which is 30 days and you forgot to enroll it, sorry, renew it, you have to create a new certificate and that potentially could end up giving you more work to re-enroll your devices, especially Apple for Apple devices. Uh, but if you are lucky enough to find out that you're within the grace period, you just have to renew it. Uh, by going into the Apple portal and upload the certificate. All right, so now it looks active. Perfect, everything looks good. Um, I do have an Apple Business Manager as well. We'll have to find out um, if anything needs to be changed, changed there. But I will go ahead and create a brand new video on that from the very scratch. Um, that's it for today. I'm gonna wrap up and um, I'm hoping that this video is helpful. Thank you. Bye.